so the margin for error is practically zero, but it's gonna be a big day. We have our toughest day yet. It's one of the hardest sections of the entire intercoastal waterway in the Great Loop. We're going through Mud River and then the Altahana Sounds. In both of those areas, the margin for error is practically zero. So we are, the reason why we didn't do this yesterday and we stopped here a little early was to prep for the right tide. So right now we have a rising tide. It's about 60% uh, to high tide. So we hopefully, so hopefully we can hit both of them uh, in stride with plenty of uh, depth. But it's going to be a big day. So that's the boat that passed us yesterday, and then we followed behind them across the channel. Alegria. Looks like they're leaving today too. That was New Horizon. They passed us yesterday and they were in Fernandina. Seeing all these other boats leave about the same time as us makes me feel a lot more reassured that we are doing things right because we're not the only ones. So it does feel good to see the other boats early this morning. The waterway that we are currently going through is, is called Jekyll Creek. But more specifically, it's also known as Mud River. It has a, a very narrow and shallow depth, um, and the channel is extremely narrow. So we are going um, when the tide is rising, and hopefully we won't have many problems. Georgia has some of the worst uh, tidal movement, worst quote unquote, not that it's bad or good, but some of the highest tidal movement outside of New York uh, on the East Coast. And so that's 7.5 feet, now it's 6.6. .6. We're at rising tide, so we're about four feet above normal. So right now at 6.4, we couldn't cross this uh, if it wasn't a higher tide. We couldn't cross this at low tide because it'd be 2.4 feet, which we draw to three and a half. So that is why we waited until today to cross this part of the stretch exactly right here. going through Jekyll Island and now and Mud River the infamous R Mud River and now we are heading through to St. Simon Sound so it is our the next um, island of the uh, Georgia Golden Isles it's another challenging point for us because it's super super narrow but we're doing it during high tide so I think we should be good
it's gotten pretty rough out here. Uh, we're going dead into the wind and the, uh, the swell is pretty big too. This is supposed to be the worst, one of the worst areas of the Great Loop because it is so shallow at certain times of the day and the margin of error is so small. So this is Alta, Alta, Alta Maha Sound. I'm probably butchering that. And if you look on the chart, you can see there is no room for error. And it's just you're in the channel or you're aground. And we're hitting it at the right time. It is literally just past high tide right now. Uh, a little bit rough uh, for our liking, but we're still moving directly through it. And we're moving with some pretty good pace at like seven and a half knots. So I hope it continues and we're able to get through this rough section. You've seen switchbacks on mountains, but this is the first switchback I've ever seen on the water. I'm just going back 30 degrees from the wave of camp. Four point nine feet. If it was low tide right now, we would have just ran aground because we're staying within the channel markers, but this stretch doesn't really have a lot of them. And uh, it was just four point something feet. And since there's six feet of tide right now, uh, we would have been on the ground. So, yeah, I'm glad we're doing this. I'm glad we planned it out last night uh, with Skipper Bob and uh, Navionics and all of our tools. Maybe a foot or... Pivot, 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 uh, Sea Dog up your stern, channel one six. This is Pivot. Motors are very nice today. Everybody's calling and saying, Pivot, Pivot, Pivot. Uh, how you doing? Like to pass you. And then they ask whatever works with you. crossed our last sound for the day and we are coming into where are we even Johnson Creek uh, near St. Catharines Island and it's about 3.30 so we're going to look for an anchorage soon in the next half hour to hour uh, and this is where we're going to be for the night it's really pretty and the water is pretty glassy so hopefully it's going to be a nice night be careful all the way out if we take all the way out Wow! 
it all. Well, we finished our toughest day so far on the Great Loop. Total travel time about eight and a half hours. And we are finishing our day with an amazing dinner that Jen cooked. It was... I made some sweet potatoes and quinoa and Brussels sprouts. And now I have a front row seat to our dinner show. These dolphins are amazing and there's about three of them at least right here, I think there's another pod up there, and they're just, they just come out of the water and come back down, just right in front of us. And they've been doing it for like 15 minutes, it's insane. Well, thanks for watching this vlog, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not already, and tomorrow we continue the journey. I think tomorrow we might be going to Savannah, and the journey to Savannah, Savannah goes through Hell's Gate. So. Stay tuned for that one. See you later. Jekyll Island, or Jekyll, Jekyll Creek? Jekyll Island. Okay. I don't know, 30 degrees from where we're coming. Where are we? Where are we?